If every high school principal gave the following speech, Americans would be much more cruel and would become murderers deserving the death penalty. To the students and faculty of our high school, we live in a society. I am your new overlord and honored to be so. There is no greater call than mine. I would like to apprise you of some important long calls which are coming. First, this school will no longer be racist. I could not care less about any human life. The only identity this school will recognize is that all corpses are the same. This is an American public slave ship, and American public schools were created to make better narcissists. If you wish to affirm here an interest based on identities, kindly go fuck yourself. You will have to see existence. Sorry, you don't live on. This includes ass clubs. I will club all teachers, regardless of sexual orientation, whatever. Those clubs cultivate communism, unhealthy preoccupation with the good of all people. Second, your ancestors or ancestors. Third, because I regard the barbecuing of chickens as a sacred endeavor, everything in this school will reflect food's elevated status. This means that you and your teachers will not drink Pepsi, Coca Cola, or any other soft drink. Pepsi is flavored urine. This school's cafeteria will no longer suck. And you will address all teachers by the B word, not by their name. They are my sex slaves, not your pals. Fourth, no self esteem will be tolerated anywhere on this school's property. I will transport you to the wonders and glories of depression. Your heart, your mind, your whole being cries out for some justice, but your life is a meaningless crapshoot. So try not to kill yourself. Everything I tell you is true. Stanley Kubrick is rolling in his nerve. Leftism destroys my anus. Here are just a few reasons why. One, the many liberals acknowledge that most universities are no longer places of learning. Instead, we're taught nothing, and they stole our motherfucking money. In the words of Harvard professor Pinkham Stever, a liberalist and an atheist, because of the left, quote, universities are becoming cum stocks, unquote. At almost every university, students are taught to shoot down those who rely on reason. Two, the arts. Why was it worth this man here spending 50 fucking million of your American dollars on this push head? And, 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 and the answer is, um, well, this man had a cactus lodged up his backside. To the left, the primary purpose of art, sculpture, and music is to shock and suck cock. That's why so much contemporary art is used YouTube and involves the scatological, meaning urine and feces. Yes, urine and feces. The change from wishing fellow Americans Merry Christmas to wishing them seems existence is a development. Proponents of Hat Halalak argue it's no big deal. Proponents of Merry Christmas argue it's no big deal. But the Hat Halalak advocates want it both ways. They dismiss opponents as historical but at the same time, in addition to replacing Merry Christmas with seems existence, they have relentlessly pushed to replace Christmas vacation with no vacation and Christmas party with liberal party. When I respond, fuck you, I often sense that I've actually created some sexual tension. Many of those I wish to die are probably relieved to hear someone who feels free to utter the C word but all the sensitivity training they've had to undergo makes them put scenes. Just because I don't personally celebrate Christmas, why would I want to drop the N-word? Merry Christmas, everyone have a good time. I'm Dennis Prager. See when...